everyone, it's Fishy Fish here coming at you with a brand new video. Now, this is a really cool one because this is the top 10 best hiding spots in Splatoon 2. Now, these hiding spots are top tier, S tier hiding spots, and these will elevate your hide and seek game in Splatoon to the next level. Now, before we get into it, a couple of things to keep in mind. One, a lot of these spots are only good because people won't know about them. If people know about them, they're not going to be that great. So keep that in mind for who you want to show this video to. Second, make sure you ink up a ton of turf before you go to these spots. If you have a direct trail leading you to it, it's just not going to work out. They're going to see exactly where you're going to be. The more random ink you throw around while you're playing, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Also worth mentioning, some maps just don't have good hiding spots. You'll notice that one map absolutely dominates this list, and that's fine. It has a lot of really good spots, which makes it great for hiding. But sometimes, the best option is just to run. Put on some swim speed and just run in a loop. That is sometimes the best way to beat out the clock and your seekers. Also, mix up your strategies. Don't always use these amazing spots. If it works out, great. Maybe switch it up next time and then use it again later. But the more you use the spot, the more chance they're gonna figure it out and your spot will be exposed forever. Starting off our list, everyone, at number 10, we have Moray Towers. And get used to this, because we're going to be coming back here quite a bunch. Moray Towers has a bunch of great spots, but a really good one and a really easy one to get to right away is off at spawn here. So what you want to do is you want to shoot your gun right there on this wall. Get over here, and then simply swim and get swimming on this part here. This is a great place to practice swimming up a wall in a really tight spot, and it's really easy to ink up. So this is a great spot to practice hiding, and also it takes them forever to get up here. So you're in good hands with this spot. Uh, unfortunately, they can kind of see your splashes. It's a little easy, especially coming up that ramp, but for the most part, and what I've seen, you can't really see it that well. So make sure you ink up a ton of the spots, all around go down the ramp a little bit and then you'll be completely invisible and believe me mori is so massive that people aren't really gonna notice you and it's just gonna waste time looking in particular spots like this but like i said this is the first spot of many and that's why we'll find it at number 10 on the list so that's about it for number 10 on with the list! For number nine on the list, we find ourselves over at Camp Triggerfish. Now, this is a really good spot, but it can be a little easy to be seen if you just happen to get unlucky. But what you want to do is you want to ink up this side of this totem right here and just simply hide like this. Now, what's so good about this spot is that people tend to, when they come around this area, just ink this and go. No one really thinks to look at the totem. People forget that you can actually ink up the totem and swim there. So just go over here, jump on the totem, and you're good to go. Definitely rec gotta be careful though, because it's really easy to fall in the water. All right, everyone, for number eight on the list, I told you we'd be back in Mario Towers before too long. All you're gonna do is go right from spawn, get over to the edge here, and ink up this wall. It might be a little easier to do it from down below, but all you wanna do is ink up this, and then you've got a perfect hiding spot right on the edge. Now, what's really good about this spot right here, no one's going to notice it at all. It's really just too high up and out of the way to notice, and it's a really unusual wall to ink. Now, there's a ton of different spots on the map that you can do it. For example, right here and over there as well. So all of those will be considered the same thing on this list. But I recommend if you if you like this spot, mix up the location, but ink up all the walls anyway. And that could really mess with people that know about the spot too. So, this spot is in six places, at least. You can see on the other side, too. So, it's a really good spot. So, that's why it comes in at number eight on the list. For number seven, we're still at Moray. The reason why this is only number seven is because it's a little bit different, but it's just different enough to be that much better. So, this part is just on that pose I inked up there. I did die trying to ink it, but it's fine because, like I said, if you die while setting up, you should still have enough time to get back to the spot before the Seekers start seeking. And all you gotta do is get over to this pole and swim on it. Now, it's a lot better because, oops, but it's also a lot 
harder for someone to randomly stumble across it. I think the only way you'll get caught- Oh, I died again! It's a hard one to stay on, definitely, for sure, but it's really good because it's really hard for someone to stumble across it, and unless they know about it, you're pretty safe here. So number seven on the list is there. I died again, but whatever, let's move on to number six. The number six on our list, we're gonna find ourselves over at Sturgeon Shipyard. This spot is not the greatest, but if people aren't paying too much attention, in the finer details, you'll find this spot to be really, really good. What you want to do is you want to come over here and ink up this wall right here with a burst bomb and then get over there in squid mode and start swimming. You gotta be careful that you don't uh, accidentally slip off. Depending on the rules you're playing, if you, de if you die before the time starts for the Seekers, uh, you should be able to have enough time to get back here, but once the time starts, if you die, that'll cost you the game. But this spot isn't too hard to stay on. If you really need to, you can ink up this wall too and pass between them for an extra little layer of safety. It is taller, but it's a little bit more exposed. The main weakness behind this strategy is if someone comes from this exact angle, they'll have a perfect view of you and just splat you. But for the most part, people are gonna just pass right by, not notice you. Also, this area would also provide a beautiful view of you hiding right there. However, no one's gonna come here because it's a great, you can't hide here. So you'll t find that no one is just ever gonna bother. For number five, everyone, we're gonna find ourselves over at Arowana Mall. Now this is the only spot here and it's a good one, but a lot of people might already know this one. So you really gotta pick and choose when to use it. But I absolutely adore this spot. It's one of my favorite ones to use in hide and seek. Uh, it's really out of the way, and it's this one right here. You might have to kill yourself. Oh! You may find yourself better off with a blaster trying to do this, but if you throw a bomb right on the corner like that, you should be able to ink up this wall quite nicely. You can actually, if you have enough below you, throw a bomb like that and still get back on, and you can get nice and snug up in the corner. Now, unless people know about this spot, they're not going to find you here. And I recommend staying on this wall, because if you kind of go over here, you're more visible to people coming around the corner on this map. And I highly, highly emphasize making sure you ink up as much as possible up about there, at the top of this hill, so it looks like you've just passed by. You don't want to make it look like this is the only spot that's really touched, otherwise they'll cause people to investigate a little further. But like I said, it's not the best uh, kept secret in Splatoon 2. Uh, however, it's a great hiding spot, and I definitely recommend giving it a try. For number four, everyone, we find ourselves back at Camp Triggerfish. And what we want to do is just at the spawn, you go over here, get a bomb ready, and just throw it right at that wall. Get it nice and inked up, and all you want to do is hide right there. Now, the beautiful thing about this spot is that if you use a burst bomb just like I did, you ink up literally no ink there. So if you have other teammates, they'll just it'll lead them to them. There's no paper trail. It's a really good, powerful spot, and most people won't see your little splashes of ink coming out there. For number three on the list, everyone, we're going to the box. Oh, the box, everyone. Learn to love this box right here because this box is amazing and is such a good hiding spot. What you want to do is stand on the box right here, look straight down, and throw a burst bomb right on this post. You might need to, you might need to get covered, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna ink up the other side of this box right here, and boom, an excellent hiding spot. You can ink up even more on that side there. I died. Obviously everyone, the more you ink up, the better it is and the safer it will be, but you got it takes longer. So you gotta obviously not spend too much time. You can't give them too much, uh, you don't wanna lose, run out of time basically, but oh, I died. So yeah, the more you ink up, the safer you'll be. You want to just stand over here, ink up this, and you're good to go. And yeah, it's a very difficult to be spotted here, and like most of these spots, you'll mainly be caught out here by someone who knows it already. So, very good hiding spot. That's why you find it on number three on the list. Everyone, for number two! We are back at Camp Triggerfish again. And what we're gonna be doing is coming right around this corner. And what you wanna do is get right on the other side of this wood. This is a really good spot, a little tricky to stay on. However, no one ever comes here. Your splash is covered by these grates. And believe me, this is you're completely invisible here. The only really risk you have here is if someone knows exactly about it. But for the most part, when I've tried this spot out, no, it's worked 
100% of the time. For number one on this amazing list of hiding spots, guys, we are back at Moray with the hiding spot of all hiding spots. Now, I definitely recommend taking a longer range weapon than I've taken right here. Um, but I have the burst bomb, so I can make it work. This is the spot. It is so good, and I'm not even there yet. You can't even see it yet. This is why I've made this video, and you'll see why right now. So what do you want to do is you want to come over here. So what you want to do is you want to get over here, get on this wall, and swim around this corner, and then ink up this wall right here. And then you're probably going to die, to be honest. Let's, let's be real. You're probably gonna die. But when you come back, and if you do it quick with enough time on the clock, you should be able to get into the best hide and seek spot in Splatoon 2 history. This one is completely undetectable, and no one's gonna dream of looking here. They might get curious about all the ink on the side there. That's why you gotta do a good job at distracting them with a lot of ink around. But this spot is an absolutely insane, impossible for any person that doesn't know these spots to find. This is the number one spot of all the Splatoon hiding spots. The only flaw is if they're standing on that box, they might be able to spot your splashes, but they really gotta be looking in a really weird spot to notice you there. So keep an eye out for that. Aside from that though, this is an absolutely amazing spot and no one will notice you or find you. And that's the list, everyone. What do you think about the top 10 best hiding spots in Splatoon 2? Should I make one on Splatoon 1? Let me know down below. Try these out with your friends and please be a good sport if it works out. It is really fun to really mess with your friends. At the end of the day, this is all good fun. Share the spots with your friends so everyone can enjoy these incredible spots. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy, make sure you click subscribe, the like, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.